Good morning, y'all. Good morning. First of all, I want to take a moment out to say thank you to each and every last one of you that liked or commented on Christopher's pictures last night. I thought he looked really, really good. I do have to pat myself on the back because I did that. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. Y'all got to Oh, I'm just saying. I was able to put his outfit together. He listened to me, even though I had picked another jacket that was sharp, but he picked that jacket because he saw another kid with something similar on in the store when we went to get the outfit. But I thought he looked really handsome. I thought he looked really sharp. I thought he looked like what a young man should look like when they are going to homecoming. But nevertheless, I wanted to get on here and tell you guys a huge, huge thank you for always supporting him for the comments. I didn't have a chance to show him everything that you guys wrote, um, but uh, he had a good time. However, um, he did come, when I came to, went to pick him up, he came out. The first thing he said when he got in the car, I said, so how was it? He said, boring. I'm like, excuse me? He said, yeah, it was boring. He said, it was a little boring. He said, it wasn't like Butler's homecoming like last year. He said, that homecoming was lit. He said, this homecoming, he's like, eh, not so much. He was like, it wasn't really, you know, it was okay. But the one thing that um, he did say that I was kind of pissed off about, and, you know, I try to give Christopher as much advice and as much encouragement as I can. I have no clue where I am going. Ain't nobody told me nothing. I have no clue where I'm going. They just got me sitting here. Ain't nobody said nothing. I'm gonna ride down here with them. I'm not gonna sit down here by myself. I know that much. Um, but one thing that I try to do. I try to give Christopher as much encouragement as I possibly can in regards to, um, you know, things that will, you know, help him grow as an individual. So, um, I apologize for the beeping, um, but the one thing that, um, that happened was that the young lady, he had asked the young lady to go to homecoming. And um, she told him that she was not coming. Well, lo and behold, she was there last night. She was there. So, um, he was upset. He was upset. And he said it made him mad. It pissed him off. He said that his feelings was hurt. He said because if she didn't want to go with him, he said he would have just said okay he said well why she lie you know why she lie and tell me that um she didn't that she wasn't coming you know he said but she was there he said so anyway he said when i saw her he said i just looked at her he said i just he said I just, he said she looked at me i looked at her he said he said and he said i just turned my head he said and i rolled my ass and he said and i walked away he said but i felt you know hurt he said because she didn't have to lie if she didn't want to go with me. So, that was a sore spot for him, you know. So, what I told him was, I said, you know what, Christopher? I said, it's okay. I said, because you were the sharpest that I'm sure that was there. And he told me um, that um, they told him that he should have won for best dress because... Um, he said, I was, you know, I was dressed, you know, he said, and the other, um, the other boys, he said, you know, they, he said, some of them had on suits. He said, they didn't look like what I had on. He said, but they were dressed. And, um, he said a lot of the teachers and the staff was telling him how nice he looked and, you know, he looked so nice and everything. And so... He said, I felt good about that. He said, and all the girls that ignore me or don't want to be bothered with me, he said, yeah, they was on me last night coming up to me saying, you know, I look nice and everything. Um, but I also explained to him that, you know, rejection is a part of life. 
and sometimes you can like people more than they like you and they will you know they will do that they will you know um they will reject you and i said but know this you are who you are and nothing about that will ever change and he also told me how um He also told me how this is such a confusing ass. I don't know what the hell is going on. He also told me that um that he feels like some of the girls like you know the guys that are a little bit more you know you know thuggish you know and so he said you know he said that that's irritating for me you know he said because you know i ain't you know that's not that's not who i am you know and so what i told him was i said you don't stop being you just because um other people are a certain way i said you continue to be who you are and i said and what you will draw to you will always be good and positive I said, don't stop being who you are just to impress a girl. Don't stop being who you are because these girls like these thugs. I said, you know, I wasn't popular in high school, you know, Ivan. I told him that. And I said, I wasn't popular. I said, I didn't have a lot of guys on me. I said, no, I was cute. Like, you cute? I said, I was cute in high school. I had a cute shape, you know. I, I said, but I was a good girl. I was a nice girl. I said, and you a good guy. And I said, it continue to be a good guy because being good is not a negative. You know, being smart is not a negative. I said, what you are is what you will draw to you. And I said, a nice girl is, a, a nice girl will appreciate who you are. I said, so don't stop being who you are. Don't, don't, don't change your character. Don't change who you are so that somebody can like you. I said, you have to be who you are. And who you are is who you are. And what you are and who you are will draw the right people to you. I said, you cannot be like somebody else when that's not you. So I told him that on the way, you know, on the way home and everything. I could tell that he was upset. And I could tell that, um, you know, it bothered him. And so what I've always told Christopher and what I will continue to tell Christopher um, is that to be a leader and not to be a follower. I, I told him last night, I said, you know what? I said, I dress you like you, the, the way that I dressed you and I've picked out what I picked out for you. I said, because you are a king. I said, and kings come in royalty. Kings, kings walk in in royalty and I said and so that's why I always elevate you to what you are and to what you can be you cannot be what other boys are because that's not who I'm raising I'm raising a king I said and that's what you are I said and that's why you are who you are and when he told the, the teachers and the staff yesterday that he was leaving going back to Buck same thing they were upset oh man you leaving Man, wow, we gonna miss you. Your reputation stands for everything. But what I'm gonna say this. Disappointment, rejection, is just a part of what we go through. Everybody don't like us and everybody don't wanna be with us, regardless of how we feel about ourselves. But the key thing is, is that that's okay. Because everybody that is rejecting you today will see later why they couldn't be with you it wasn't because of you it was because they couldn't come up to your level of where you are and that's what i told him i said the girls that are rejecting you i said they ain't on your level they ain't on your level i said they ain't on your level i said you a king they don't even know that they queens they want to deal with the with the with the with the smut you know what i'm saying i said but that ain't you i said so what God has for you, he has for you. I said, but don't you stop being you because you're trying to impress somebody else because you're trying to do something to make somebody like you. I said, you don't have to do that. 
You don't have to do that. All you got to do is keep being who you are. And God is going to bless you with what you need because he sees who you are and what you are. So he had a good time. He said it wasn't as lit. But the one thing that upset him was the girl lying and saying that she wasn't coming. And I, he said, that's it. I'm not asking nobody else to go to homecoming with me. I said, no, no, no. I said, because you got to ask somebody next year and you got to ask somebody to go on prom in your senior year. I said, and you may get some no's and that's all right. I said, but who's supposed to be with you is who's going to want to be with you, regardless if you really want to go with this person or not. I said, I had the hardest time finding a prom day. I said, nobody asked me to go on prom from high school. I went on prom with my best, one of my best friends, Rhonda Shelley, who I'm friends with to this day, with her brother. I went on prom with him. He had already graduated from high school. I didn't have a prom day. And one thing that I like now that they're doing is that these girls are not even going on prom um they're not even going on prom with dates they're going on prom by themselves and i like that because it takes the pressure off of you trying to find somebody and you feeling rejected when nobody asks you so i really really like that so i told him i said if you don't have a prom date you still gonna be sharp just like you've been sharp for homecoming you know i'm gonna lay it out baby i'ma lay it out that's why i'm working all this working all this overtime baby i'm gonna lay it out saving money now for his prom and for his graduation i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna have him straight but i thought he looked really handsome i thought he looked really good even though he had pissed me off early because he had a little attitude um, he told me on the way home that he apologized. He said, I'm going to stop having an attitude. I said, I don't know why you had no attitude to me because I told you to get your hair cut this week and not last week. He was mad about that. I wasn't paying for no haircut for last week and this week. I wasn't doing it. Do y'all know how much a haircut costs now? $45. Say it with me. $45 for a haircut. What happened in the 20 and the 25? Anyway. So he was mad about that, but I didn't care because I had already told him that I was paying for him to get a haircut last week and this week. I said, your hair look fine and that's it. I've spent enough money and I'm not paying for another haircut. I tried to make him wait to get a haircut this week, but he wanted, you know, you know how kids are. They don't listen to nothing that you tell me. He gonna say, I, you right, I should have waited. I told you, but you don't want to listen. So, anywho, um, that's that. So thank you guys again. God bless you all for supporting him. I appreciate you oh, oh, so much. And um, it, it was a good night. It was a good night. I'm here at work. <sighs> I don't even think they needed me because they got an, we got another crew here. I really don't think they needed me, but I'm going to get this money. I'm just sitting here. I don't know what they want me to do. Ain't nobody told me to come down this way, to do this, to do that, to go block this, 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 that, and the other. My foreman told me one thing. The foreman ain't down here. The other foreman ain't down here. I don't know what the hell to do. But guess what? I'm getting paid. So I'm going to sit here on my ass and block these trucks until these electricians tell me what to do. That's what I'm going to do. Right here. Okay? Because I need this money. Anywho, I'm sleepy as hell though. But um, you all have a good day. I don't get off until 3 30. I started at 5. It's only 7 a.m. I'm tired. Anyway, I'm supposed to be going out later too. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I may not make it. I may not make it. I may not make it. I'm so sleepy. I am so sleepy. Y'all have a good day. And, um, We'll talk soon. And again, thank you so much for your support and your love. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. Okay, bye.